Log Talk Radio. Are you ready to take a bite out of the competition? Are you looking for ideas to make your business better? Welcome to the Core Business Show with Tim GK, sponsored by Apple Capital Group. At the core of every successful business, you'll find people making a difference. And with each episode of the Core Business Show, we talk with those people, examine those ideas, and explore the strategies that make them special. Now, the host of the Core Business Show, Tim GK. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to another episode of The Core Business Show. Today, we're going to talk about the ABCs of starting your own business, and this topic is going to be setting goals. Again, ABCs of starting your own business, and this topic is going to focus on setting goals. Goals are really important because it kind of puts an outline of a structure mentally, physically, where you need to be. It is the foundation of before you even write your business plan. You've got to have a goal in mind, and then you put the structure in place with your business plan. So if you think of the goal as an idea, and from that idea, you have the concept of building the house, you know where it's supposed to look like at the very end. The blueprint of that house is going to be your business plan, how you put all those pieces together. But the goal is, at the very end is to have this wonderful house with everything you want in it. That's your goal is that whole vision of everything that you want there and you meet it. So you complete that house, that's your goal, okay? So I'm going to break this up today into about three segments. The first segment is going to how to set your goals. The next segment, how to take action on those goals. And the third segment is how to set a goal and how to reach it. So let's begin with how to set a goal. Getting setting business goal, you have to determine what's your long term goal. Okay, start by distinguishing your long term goals from your short term goals. Your long term goals should be a timeline about three to five years. Okay, then you need to develop them in four items. Okay, here's the type of your visionary goals. Usually fall into four items: service, social profit, and growth. Your service, goals related to improving customer service satisfaction or customer retention is your service. On your social, goals that focus on giving back to the community through philanthropy or volunteer organizations, for example. That kind of tripped me up on philanthropy. Okay. Profit, goals set to increase profits for certain percentages. Okay. Is it 10%, 20%, 30%? And number four, goals related to the expansion of the company through new employees, for instance, okay? So those are the four items that you need to set your business goals. Okay, here's another category of it is create short-term objectives, okay? You figure out what you want in the long term. You need to figure out how to get there, okay? We do it in five steps. Specific, measurable, action-oriented, realistic, and time-specific. Let me break these out. They spell SMART, S-M-A-R-T, and these are your short-term objectives. Specific, in order to work, objectives needs to be concrete, not abstract, as your long-term goals, and highly detailed, okay? I mean, if you put a brick on the house, I mean, if you're putting brick on the house, this is your particular objective. You want to look a certain way, and you're going to make that goals. As you put your frame up, you put the bricks on the outside, you're getting there, okay? That's maybe a short-term goal, okay? Measurable. Put a figure or value such as dollar amount or percentage to this objective. Dollar amount, you want to raise a million dollars, earn a million dollars, or what the percentage of profits you want to be, 20%. Okay, your next one is your action oriented. Lay out which actions need to be taken by which people and when. Okay, I do this, you do that, she does this, they do that. Okay, my attorney needs to do this, my accountant needs to do this, and so forth. Realistic goals, make sure they're realistic if it's short term that you can achieve them. Make goals, but consider your resources so that you can accurately achieve them reasonably. And the last one, time-specific, 
set a deadline to get these things on so you can track them. Okay. Let's dig into the next goals. Getting business goals, solicit in employee input. With some of your best people as your frontline workers, try to get their opinions on certain things. Keep an open door policy. Hey, what do you think of? And allow them, because believe it or not, they, some things that they do on a regular basis might not come to you, but they found a better way of doing the mousetrap. So can I solicit their input, encourage their input? Say, if I'm busy at the time, why don't you go ahead and write it down and put it in a suggestion box for me or a special folder on the table that I would take a look at, okay? And that's why you can get input if you don't have time to listen to it or if your mind is not open to listen to it at the moment. Okay, here's another one. Stay organized and focused. Organization is key because if your desk is a clutter, it, it squeezes your space because you have all these things, projects you need to get done. So stay focused. Stay organized. Keep good records. Keep good filings. Have people help you. Here's another one. Just be consistent. Be consistent on the things you do. Don't be radical. Just keep a steady flow. Be consistent in the things you do, and they will minimize conflicts. And the last one in this particular section is setting business goals, is build a culture of appreciation. Thank you. Oh, you did a great job. Thank you for doing this. Thank you for doing that. Oh, I appreciate you. You're doing a good job. So those are key things. Okay, I'm going to recap real quick how to set your business goals. Goal number one, determine your long-term goals. Goal number two, determine, create your short-term goals. Goal number three, solicit employee trust. Goal number four, stay organized and focused. Goal number five, be consistent. Goal number six, build a culture of appreciation. We're going to take a break for our sponsor real quick. If you're listening to The Core Business Show with Tim J.K., these are the ABCs of starting your own business, and this is setting episode of Setting Goals. We'll be back in a moment. You're listening to The Core Business Show, sponsored by Apple Capital Group. Apple Capital Group in Jacksonville, Florida, is a commercial lender that specializes in asset-based loans, equipment leasing and financing, invoice financing, commercial real estate loans, and asset-based financing in the U.S. and Canada. Apple Capital Group is a direct lender that lends on their private equity investment portfolio. 90% of most loans are decided within two hours, and vendor funding within 24 hours after documents are completed with a one-page application. No slow no's, just a quick decision and a fast yes. To get more information about lending from Apple Capital Group, call 866-611-7457. That's 866-611-7457 to speak with one of our loan specialists. Or visit us right now at applecapitalgroup.com. Welcome back to The Core. Once again, here's Tim Japan. Okay. We're going to continue on regarding our goal setting. We're going to talk about taking action on your goals. Productivity is a hot topic because so many people, especially entrepreneurs, are productivity challenged. If you missed last week's post information, find out that you missed your particular goal. You didn't take action on it. So here's some questions that you need to ask yourself. What are three most important goals? Okay. What are the three most important goals? The next one, what gets in the way and prevents me from achieving these goals? Number three, do I have any fears or emotional blocks that tell me I can't, I shouldn't achieve my goals? Okay, number four, ask yourself, do I have an effective productivity model in place? Okay, the next one, what are two or three action steps that I can take this week to get closer to my competition of each of my goals. Number five, the last one, one, two, three, four, five, six, number six. What support systems do I have in place? Do I have an assistant? Do I have a business partner? Do I have a mentor? Do I have a coach? So kind of take those things in consideration. Also consider the things that motivate you, money, reward, verbal praise, Simple celebrations, fame, recognition, or other. Figure out what those things are and take action on it, okay? I'm going to move on, and here's the last segment of this particular show, is how to set a goal and how to reach it. Okay. This is how you set a goal. This is how you reach it. Stretch, but not too far. 
when you set your long-term and short-term goals, kind of stretch it, but don't make it so hard to reach. You want to also consider the power three. You want to be an exhibitionist. You want to have a working coach. You want to have you know people in place that can help you achieve your goals. Maybe all the employees are not going to help you achieve your goals, and they might not have the best interest. But it's in your best interest when you make a goal that you sit down with your staff without any distractions and get them to buy into it. That's me, hey, these are my visions. And if I, as I move forward through this system, and you would do well too. So these are the things I'm thinking that I need to accomplish. I want your input. Invite the input. Do you see a way that we can become successful even if you do a profit sharing? Hey, I will give bonuses out. I'll give you shares in the company in order to get that thing. If you have a million shares, if you give maybe 500 shares to them as a bonus, you know, at the end of the year, you know, maybe it's worth $200, but if they buy into that particular goal, buy in that particular company and want it to succeed, if you profit sharing or, you know, you could end up with a certain bonus at the end of the year, it's a company and it's a company that you want to grow. So yeah, you majority owner of that. However, if your company makes $100,000, is it in your best interest to share maybe 5000 of that with your employees or $10,000 of that. If you share $10,000 of that and they're not expecting that, imagine how they're going to feel. Not only do they have any other day salary, but if you make $100,000 and if you just kick out, and you can deduct this, of course, off your taxes, but if you can kick out additional $10,000 or $5,000 and give them a $1,000 check, imagine the lives you're going to touch when you do that. Imagine what type of energy you're going to get back out of it. It's a small deposit, but it's a worthwhile deposit. So anyway, I did a show a couple of days ago on goal setting, uh, the queen of goal setting. I, I'm trying to remember the episode offhand. I know it was Tuesday. Take a look at that particular episode. It was just ironic that I spoke to her this week, and she was the queen of, we had the queen of cold calling yesterday, but she was the queen of goal setting and making sure you achieve your goals. So kind of take a look at that. Listen to that particular episode. She gave you some real good facts on how to get there. And you should really should take advantage of it. It's Donna Marie Thompson. The episode was on 522. She is the goal goddess. Listen to the episode. Take advantage. Take her advice. Everybody have a great day. Thank you for tuning in to the Core Business Show. I'm Tim J.K., your host. Please, if you don't mind, Go to the website, iTunes, write a review on these episodes so we can measure it or Google Plus it. Thank you, everybody. Have a great day. Thank you for listening to The Core Business Show with Tim Jacquet. For more information about equipment financing and asset-based loans, visit our website, applecapitalgroup.com. That's applecapitalgroup.com. Or call us at 866-611-7457. We hope you'll join us for our next episode. And remember, you can always get to The Core via iTunes. You'll find all our previous episodes there. And thanks again for listening to The Core Business Show with Tim Jacquet.